setting up IP time lapse software for capturing JPEG images from an IP camera and creating a time lapse. First, download the latest version of IP time lapse Pro from iptimelapse.com. Our camera is a Hikvision and the capture string for Hikvision is as follows and I'll type it into the edit box in IP time lapse. And uh, this camera takes a password, username and password. Okay, and uh, uh, right away, if you have typed in the uh, correct RTSP string for your camera and uh, username and password, you can take a picture and press the picture button. Okay, and uh, so we have a snapshot, and uh, this uh, snapshot will be sent to a folder, and you choose that folder under the setup. So we select setup, select schedule and FTP, and under schedule and FTP is a, a images destination folder. And the default will be your pictures folder slash IP time lapse. So we'll just stick with that. We can control the uh, JPEG quality for that saved image with the slider. Say, so you can basically keep that to the far right. And if we're going to upload the images, we can control the upload file image quality uh, with the top slider. And uh, if we're going to do a long-term time lapse, we can uh, leave this uh, delete destination images folder unchecked. But uh, if uh, you're concerned about file space or only need to keep a certain number of days, you can set this to uh, any number you'd like. So, then we'll go back to the view tab and uh, take another picture. And uh, you'll see the time change down here. And uh, let's open the uh, destination folder. And uh, the image snapshots are sent to a year, month, date. Uh, folder, and uh, they're given uh, time-coded names, so each file has an individual name. Okay, and uh, the these two images are just working images, and uh, they'll be overwritten on each snapshot. So we'll go back to uh, the setup page of the schedule and FTP tab, and we'll tell the software, we want it to capture an image every 10 seconds. And uh, the capture will be within this enable time uh, from uh, midnight to uh, 2359. We'll capture every day of the week. Um, on the lower left side is uh, input for uh, text on your image. You can input a title. And uh, another option is to add weather to the image, and we'll uh, get to that later. And then there's other options for setting the font and uh, the background shading. So let's uh, start taking pictures. You'll see there's a capture countdown on the left side and uh, the current time of day on the right side. And uh, with each uh, picture snap, you'll see the time code change on the image. So let's 
let that run for a while and we'll create enough images we'll store enough images to create a short time lapse okay so i we have enough images right now to create a time lapse so let's stop it we'll go back to setup uh, select the time lapse tab and to show all the options you may need to extend the, the GUI a bit because it resizes based on the image so we just pull that up a bit and uh, we look on the left side there's a processing option so we can process today's images only a date range all the images images fitting a pattern last two days or end days images or last n hours and uh, so let's stick with the default settings we'll process only today's images we only have uh, let's just take a look at the images we have seven images and uh, we don't want we can uh, set the encoding to be uh, process to uh, display image frames in the time lapse say every one every five seconds or five uh, frames per second and uh, we can adjust the size of the video let's say we just give it 800 pixels across and that will process fairly quickly and uh, the quality 24 is nominal it's good quality encoding speed uh, as it's as the uh, mouse over tooltip says, uh, lower is fast encoding, uh, lower quality, and the higher number is uh, slower encoding but a high quality, and uh, it'll be a smaller file. Let's set it to five. Let's uh, create a test video. And uh, leaving everything else default, let's uh, create a video right now. Uh, let's set this to three, okay, because we only have a few images, and it'll last a few seconds. So make video now. So I just press the make video now button, and it's already completed making the video. Let's go take a look and see what's there. All right, and the uh, time lapse folder, there's a uh, a file containing the a list of images we'll just take a quick look at that so the software has uh, uh, created a uh, text file it shows each image and its uh, lo file location uh, folder location and uh, here's our video and uh, let's play it okay we just saw it play uh, replay it so uh, we just made our first video so uh, let's add a little bit of uh, extra processing and uh, do what is called a uh, crossfade so this option will uh, blend between from one frame to the next and uh, the option is for uh, ratio of the uh, duration of the crossfade divided by the time of uh, the duration of showing the image. So let's say uh, set the uh, duration, the fading duration to three times the length of the uh, displaying the image. And uh, of course that's fully adjustable. So let's uh, make a new video. We'll name it uh, with crossfade, make video now. Okay, it's completed. Let's take a look at that. All right, that's going by kind of fast. Let's set it back to uh, one frame per second and make that again. All right, now you can see that if you look at the um, 
things that are moving and there's not really a lot moving but uh, you'll see uh, blending taking place say uh, at these uh, branches here all right so it's a little easier on the eyes and uh, can be very effective uh, in showing uh, a uh, time lapse okay so we've demonstrated how to capture an image we've shown where those images get archived we've shown uh, how to make a basic time lapse